Merry Christmas Eve. How is everybody? <laughs> is everybody done shopping or are you going shopping after this? Okay, good. Excellent. Well, welcome to Epworth United Methodist Church. We're so glad that you came out to uh, join us as we prepare the celebration for the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the first of three services that are happening tonight. So this is our family service that's been put together by our youth. They put an amazing service together for you, and you'll be hearing the gospel according to the Grinch, uh, and it's, it's absolutely fabulous, so you're going to love it. Uh, uh, there's also a 7 o'clock service this evening at Jessup's, uh, right up in Lufton, the historic Methodist church there. And then 11 o'clock candlelight service right back here. So if you want to come out for our candlelight service, come back at 11 o'clock. We would love to have you as well. So hopefully you got a glow stick as you were coming in. Did everyone get a glow stick? If you didn't, I've got more. And I'll try and make sure that you get glow sticks if you didn't. Come on up. Everybody has one? Do you need one? Okay, good. Excellent. So the glow sticks, who? Okay. Here you go, Ruby. There we go. Excellent. If you didn't get a glow stick, we'll try and make sure that those get to you. Uh, just raise your hand and we'll try and find you real quick. Okay, so we have a few, Pam, here. Come. There's other people with hands up. Help out. Thank you. All right, so the reason for the glow sticks is we're not going to give everyone candles at this service, but we are going to have glow sticks, and we will be singing Silent Night. And at that time, we ask that you crack the glow sticks and wave them in the air, and that'll be your light for the Silent Night portion of the service. And um, that'll, that'll just be fabulous, seeing all the glowing lights around. Um, the other thing that you received are little ornaments and a marker. And to tell you a little bit more about that, Molly's going to share that information with you. When you walked in tonight, you guys should have received an ornament. So like you'll see in our play tonight, Christmas can mean multiple things to different people. So you can write with your marker um, on your ornament what Christmas means to you or why you think Christmas is special or your favorite Christmas tradition. And then when the time comes, we'll ask you to bring them up and put the ornaments on the tree. And so now you can sit back and enjoy the... Um, and we do have one special request tonight. If we get the markers back at the end of service, Molly said she has another use for them too. So uh, as you're leaving tonight, if we could get the markers back, we'd love that. So sit back, enjoy, Merry Christmas.
We love having the children um, starting off with bells and becoming their own bell choir. It's just fabulous. One thing I forgot to mention before, during the, uh, the, Grinch, the Gospel According to Grinch, there's going to be some Christmas carols sung during that time. They're not in your bulletin, but the words will be on the screen, and you don't have to stand up for all of them. Just when we get to joy to the world at the end, we'll have everybody stand up. But you get to sit down, but please join us in singing the carols. Thanks. Please stand if you are able and join me in the call to worship. In the eyes of a small child lying awake in bed on Christmas Eve, when life gives us challenges and we turn from you. Lord, when we see happiness and the light of Christmas around us. When we have troubled minds and troubled hearts. Please stand and pass the joy of Christ.
Hi, thank you all so much for coming to our Christmas Eve service. The youth has put in a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this performance. Well, maybe not blood, maybe not sweat, maybe not tears, but we have put a lot of work and effort into this, so please enjoy. Also, the children of your family can come and put their favorite Christmas memory up on the tree. Ornaments, sorry. He is human too, right? Oh, Cindy, we already have Aunt Agnes, Uncle Magnus, and their kids. The neighbors from across the street, Billy from down the road. But Mom! No buts. The Grinch isn't the friendliest of creatures and isn't very welcome in Whoville. It just doesn't seem like Christmas unless we include everyone. As the Who's Down in Whoville continued festivities, the Grinch was feeling hostility. <laughs> Mr. Grinch, you really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus, you're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. I hate it. Blast this Christmas music is joyful and triumphant.
ending Christmas. But how do I end Christmas? Think, think, think. I've got it. I'll steal Christmas. Red blouse and pants and caps and all sorts of red flaps. With this, he cut and he glued. He sewed and he sewed until he put together the most fabulous of apparels. Come on, Max. You're the flying thing with the red nose and the antlers. Now we just need something to get us down the hill. I've got it. They'll never see us coming. The Grinch hopped in his sleigh and called out the whistle to head down the hill like a missile. Are we there yet? I'm getting bored. The Grinch slinks in the house with the grace of a lynx. He grabs and he shoves everything in the sack until he hears the tiniest crack. He whips around, and who should appear? A small child with big eyes, all full of tears. Hey, what are you doing with our tree full of lights? See, one bulb isn't screwed on just right. I'll bring it to my shop tonight and bring it back by morning light. The Grinch patted her head and sent her to bed. The Grinch chuckled and sneered. Now dash away, dash away to all the other houses. The Grinch stuffed and crammed all the trees, gifts, lights, and snack bites. Now I can have peace since the music will cease, he said. The Grinch took all his prizes and trudged up the hill before the sea capsizes and the sun rises. But wait, what is that sound? The Grinch is astounded to hear such a sound. What is that sound? What do I hear? Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good times, we say. How is this happening? I don't understand. It came without presents, it came without tags, it came without boxes and bags. The Grinch thought maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas means a little bit more. But what is that little bit more? What is Christmas really about? He had to get it figured out. He raced and darted back down the hill just to find the right person to grill. Little girl! Why is ever What's happening? I don't understand. Why is everyone singing? Why are there still bells ringing? I thought this was just about the presents and the tags and the boxes and the bags. Oh, Grinch. Christmas means multiple... Oh, Grinch, the presents and ribbons and boxes and bags mean very little this time of year. The most important part is the birth of the baby, the one we hold dear. The birth of a baby? The one you hold dear? You must start from the beginning. My head is spinning. Cindy began to share how and the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to this angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who is said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord, let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. And everyone is now welcome to raise their glow sticks and join us in Silent Night.
In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly, there is with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace among earth, among whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they had made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them.
see, it isn't really about the packages and things. It's about this Christ child who everyone sings. Wow, it has all become so clear why everyone holds this child so dear. Wait, what is happening to me? It feels as though my heart is growing and Christmas cheer is overflowing. Thank you, child, for showing me this Jesus Christ from Galilee. Please excuse my Christmas theft and help me use the time that's left to join you all in heart and cheer. This was very special time of year. Oh, stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for coming out tonight so that we can celebrate the, the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So if you didn't get it, if you, didn't come, if you came a little bit later, you didn't know that there are two more services after this one. There's one at the historical, the historical church at 7 o'clock, which is just at Jessup's, and then 11 o'clock service right back here. It's a candlelight and a communion service. And then tomorrow at 1030 in the morning, it's a come as you are, wear your pajamas, you know, have a great time, we're like, we're like relaxing with each other. And so thank you all for coming out and have a very Merry Christmas.